underlying technology of blockchain might actually represent a second era of the internet. That for the first 40 years we've had the internet of information and now we're getting the internet of value. The internet of information was great, but it did have a big weakness. You couldn't store, move, transact value without a powerful intermediary, and that's what blockchains solve. And when I send you some information, I'm actually not sending you the information, I'm sending you a copy. Whether that's a, a spreadsheet or a PowerPoint, file or a Word document or an email or even with the website. The web was a platform for the presentation and publishing of content and that's overall a good thing. However, when it comes to assets, things that are of value to somebody like money, stocks, votes, uh, frequent flyer points, securities, intellectual property, music, scientific uh, discoveries, etc. Publishing those is not a good idea. If I send you a hundred euros, uh, it's really important that I no longer have it and that you do have it. So for decades, the only way we've solved this problem is by having powerful intermediaries to authenticate who various parties are in a transaction and to establish trust. And overall, these intermediaries do a pretty good job. Uh, but they do have some big limitations. First of all, they slow things down a lot. I mean, you tap your card in Starbucks and it takes three days for these bits to go through a bunch of computer systems, some of them being 1970s mainframes, and for settlement to occur. They tax the system. Most important, these big institutions prevent progress in many ways. They keep a couple of billion people out of the global economy who don't qualify to participate. And they capture our data, whether they're big banks or credit card companies or big technology companies or even governments. And that means not only that we can't monetize this incredible asset, we can't use it to run our lives more effectively or our organizations more effectively. And in many cases, our privacy is being undermined. What if there was a global distributed internet of value that enabled us to establish trust and to store assets and to communicate them and to do transactions with them on a global basis without a powerful intermediary. This would be a revolutionary force. And that's what blockchain is.